about reviewed the film from yesterday. Did, did you see anything that wasn't evident coming off the field? Uh, no, nah, not not really. You know, I thought that uh, um, well, it was more consistent than the first one. I thought we tackled well. I thought that we. Uh, I thought the first O line played pretty well. Uh, I thought we should have run the ball better than we did. Uh, they're playing all kinds of games and trying to jam it up, and they did a good job of that, I thought. Uh, I thought we threw the ball well, generally caught it well, had a few drops, um, but it was a good overall scrimmage. It was good work, and you know both sides uh, stressed each other a lot, which is what you want to see. You, you had said that Gordon had the better day. I mean, did, did that hold true watching film? Did, did, did you still come away from the, the film review thinking he was a little bit better than Gage yesterday. Well, he's real comfortable back there. He's played real comfortable, and he's been on kind of a roll for the last week and a half. So I think he's uh, really done a good job. If you could compare uh, him at this point, uh, right now, to, to last year, where do you think he's made the biggest strides? And he looked pretty strong in the spring too. Did, did you think that's when he really started to kind of show everything that he's learned in, in this offense the past couple of years? Yeah, uh, he's, he's continued to improve. I, the biggest thing is consistency. He's gotten consistent. He's always been able to unload the ball quickly, and he's gotten real steady with his reads. He's done a really good job reading the field. And Cam from Cam Cooper for, from last at this point last year to now, he, he also looks more comfortable. He's still only getting, getting limited reps in kind of the, the, the team period and scrimmages, but where do you think he looks better right now? Well, he's throwing the ball, played with a lot of confidence yesterday, and uh, uh, has just looked sharp throwing the ball. He can make some throws other people can't make. and. Uh, you know, and, and now he's, uh, rather than kind of hesitating, he's pulling the trigger, and I think it's helped him quite a bit. Can it be hard for uh, for freshmen who come in as pretty touted quarterbacks who've started for three or four years at, at the high school level to, to come in and really have to bide their time and, and stay st stay focused, stay interested, and try to work on the things that they can kind of control during that, that you know, one year, two years that they have to sit out? Uh, I imagine so. It's, I mean, it's hard for everybody. It, it's hard for everybody. I mean, uh, most of the great... Uh, starters that anybody remembers not all but most uh <coughs> you know played thursday night football and developed their skills and you know worked their way up until they made things happen if i, I know you won't announce anything as a starter publicly and it's not what you guys have done but but if you i mean do, do you imagine the team will know who the starter is within the next three or four days is, did, I mean, would it be ideal to have a starter in, in, in the next four or five days, I guess? Well, I, I think they will. If we were to play today, we'd play Gordon. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, you know, but we got some time, too. What, is, what does it say, too, about, about his patience to kind of uh, sit behind Gardner and, and, and really learn and kind of be a sponge and soak up everything that the other quarterbacks have, have taught him? Well, I, I, <clears throat> I think it's important. I also think it's part of the process. I think it's what uh, refines your skills and your knowledge and your anticipation of things. And, and I think that uh, <clears throat> really other than perhaps his first year, he took pretty good advantage of those things. Mark off of Marsh. Oh, Mark oh, yeah, off of Marsh yeah, they, are on scholarship, yeah. Yeah, what, what have those two guys shown you? <clears throat> well, they're, they're both... Uh, they're both in the two deep right now, and they, uh, you know, Markoff's uh, really gotten in good shape, and he's quicker than you'd think. Um, and then, uh, and figured into special teams last year, and then Armani has, uh, you know, just worked uh, relentlessly, and it's gotten better and better and better, and uh, it's just a real scrappy corner out there. Do you kind of come into fall camp with, with maybe a list of guys <coughs> who, who are kind of on, on on the fringe of earning scholarships, and then maybe? Those guys are in it throughout the first two, two or three weeks of camp. Well, we're somewhat conscious of it throughout the year, but uh, um, you know, after camp is, uh, I guess, one of the times because you get really get to see them, and then also uh, your scholarship numbers have settled in to where it's clear cut, and you know, you, you kind of know what you have, you know. And they've been pretty good in the classroom. I think both are above 3.0. Is it, does that factor in too when they've committed themselves to? Study. Yeah, I generally won't uh, give a scholarship to a walk-on unless he's taking care of business in the classroom. He has to take care of business in the classroom. A lot of programs will kind of do creative things to, to offer the scholarships. Did you guys do anything special for those two? And I know you, you kind of have in the past with videos and whatnot, but anything special? Uh, for we just fla we flashed it on the board after during our meeting. We flashed it on the board, you know, and the room kind of erupted, you know, because um, team-wise, they're both really well thought of guys.